All right, welcome back. Step six, we're moving on. So I'm gonna start by playing the kit. I'm gonna play stuff that we've covered so far. Watch what I'm doing, identify what I'm doing, relate to it. You should feel good that you can see what I'm doing and you, and you know what it is. Maybe you're still struggling with a bit of it, but at least you can see it and you can understand what's happening. I'm also gonna put some extra stuff in there and step six is gonna be about the extra stuff. So let's have a demonstration. Here we go. Okay, great, so hopefully you recognised some of that stuff. I was playing basic rock patterns uh, with my hand leading on the hi-hat. I was playing patterns with the hand leading on the ride. I was adding a crash cymbal on the first hi-hat, the first beat. But then there was some other stuff that was happening with the rest of the kit. Okay, so this is what we call a fill. A fill is made up of different rhythms and different phrases. Um, We're going to start with the easiest one. I'm going to call it a chip. Okay? Chip. So the first basic fill is going to be four chips. And if the kit that you're sitting at has one snare drum and three toms, this is perfect because that's four places to hit. So the first fill is chip, 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 chip. So it'd sound like this. easy enough okay make sure that it's nice and steady and in time we talked about counting time and feeling that you are part of the beat um, don't speed up don't slow down chips is one hit okay there's some notation for what chips will look like on the screen um, check that out if you want but it's good to have it internalized as well the next fill that we'll look at is sausage so it will sound like this sausage 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 so sausage two hits and we're going to alternate the sticks so we'll go right left right left right left right left okay so I'll do that with a pattern so you can see how it works great sausage easy the next step up is gonna be the cauliflower fill. Okay, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Four hits. So it sounds like this. Cauliflower, 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 cauliflower. The way that we play cauliflower is to stick right, left, right, left. So we're alternating our sticks. Okay, so I'll play the cauliflower fill with the pattern as well. Here we go. Always say the word in your head, okay? I think that's the best way to internalize the sound. These are words that we know and we say and we've been saying them since we were little. So it's an easy thing for us to um, associate with, okay? So that's three words, chips, sausage and cauliflower. Okay, instead of just repeating the same word four times, we can obviously mix them up and change things around. So instead of just having four chips or four sausage or four cauliflower, we can mix up those words and create a more interesting fill. So let's see what we can do. Hopefully that makes some sense and you could tell what the fill was going to sound like. So essentially you're starting to read some music, 
which is really handy, really useful. So a little challenge for you, if this is making sense, is to try and create your own drum fill. So you've noticed that I'm using four words, there's four spaces. So stick with those three words that we've covered and make a combination of those three words. Sausage, sausage, cauliflower, chips. Chips, chips, cauliflower, sausage. Cauliflower, 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 chips. Chips, chips, sausage, chips. Great. If you can say them in your head in time with the music, then it, you've got a really good chance of being able to play them with the sticks. Well done. Thank you.